I didn't hit record on the camera and I don't exactly have a pathway. Uh, oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't don't knock anything over. Don't fall. Oh, oh. Whew, I made it. I made it. Everything is still standing. Welcome. Today we're watching Hook. I'm <laughs> I was honestly so excited. This is a childhood favorite movie. I remember watching this over and over again with my center, with my center, with my sister. We would always rent it. I don't know why our parents didn't just buy it. We must have rented it. In my mind, it's like hundreds of times. It probably was only three or four. I don't know. I, my memory from childhood isn't the greatest, but yeah, here's the thing. Uh, lately, uh, people have been talking about this upcoming Peter Pan and Wendy movie that's dropping on Disney Plus, and people responded to the trailer uh, just immediately heralding it as the worst Peter Pan movie of all time. And I don't, I don't know. I'm not interested in hating on something or calling something the worst when I haven't seen it. But I thought it would be tons of fun. I thought it would be tons of fun to watch one of the best Peter Pan movies of all time. And that's why we're watching Hook today. So, okay. I was looking on IMDb at this movie. Uh, I, because I haven't seen it since I was a kid. And I was curious. And the first thing I have to say. This cast is mind-blowing. I knew Robin Williams was in it, but Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook, Julia Roberts as Tinkerbell, Bob Hoskins as Smee. Is this real life? Like, what? But the thing that was the most what in the world, it's, are you serious? Maggie Smith as Granny Wendy? You're telling me Professor McGonagall is Granny Wendy? I remember... Granny Wendy being ancient. I mean, I'm sorry. Listen, I don't know how old she is in this movie, but my my little kid mind tells me that Granny Wendy is the oldest woman to ever still be alive. It's 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 it's, it's that's Maggie Smith. So, yeah, I I can't imagine because she doesn't strike me as that old in the Harry Potter movies, and obviously she's still around and, and acting to my knowledge. And I'm just. I'm I'm very curious to see her in this film now more than more than anything else. So let's do it. Let's watch it. Let's watch uh, and experience a uh, hook for the like, I don't know the first time since childhood. Let's go. Ah! I'm just immediately excited. Come on, Steven Spielberg, John Williams working together. I know that is a shocking thing. Boy, why are you crying? I was crying because I couldn't get my shadow to stick. Peter, yeah. you're missing it. Oh my. On a meeting tomorrow, a.m. Why did he even answer the phone? Honestly. You promised. I'll be there. My word is my bond. Willie. Here's the Road thing. He sends this man to go film it. Come on, you don't have time for this, man. Thank you. Oh. It really means a lot when parents show up. Come on, Jack. Dang. I thought he was going to hit it out of the park and then dad would feel bad for missing. Although dad should feel bad for missing. This kid's clearly distracted because dad's not there. That's Jack. That's me. That's mom. And that's, and that's you. Where's my parachute? Parachutes are for people who come to the game. Jack, next season I'm coming to six games. I promise. Why not all the games? Be sure to buy enough videotape. <laughs> oh, you deserve that. My word is my bond. You can't break your word and then keep saying your word is your bond. You've invalidated your bond, sir. I am a child. Grow up. <laughs> is Granny Wendy the real, real Wendy from my play? Yes. No, honey, not really. Sort of. Look at this. Who's that? Two. Huh? Was I ever that young? <laughs> nah. In my mind, Robin Williams is always this age. So. I've lost my marbles. <laughs> okay. Lisa? <laughs> Hello, boy. Ooh, yeah. Instant chills. Woo. Yeah. Why, oh, man. They really made her. They really aged her up. For sure. Wow. It's been 10 years between visits. Oh, never mind. Come and give me a squint. <laughs> Quite a while. In my house, no growing up. Stop this very instant. Wow. And that includes you. It's magical, man. What a contrast between his parenting to Jack. See, when a big company is in 
trouble. Mm. Dad sails in, and if there's any resistance, he blows him out of the water. Peter, you've become a pirate. Whoa. Whoa. Dang, Granny Wendy. Just hearing her say that and the music and the cinematography, it's like instant chills. Wow. Oof. Ooh. Oh, look at the paintings. Oh, Captain Hook. Peter, it's a hook. What? Brad's on the line. He says it's urgent. Of course it is. Why are y'all? He is on vacation, man. Boom. Here, Meg. I'm here. Tell here him there have always been Boom. casualties of evolution. Here, Ask him if anybody misses the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, I thought I am for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this scene is, me is chaos. Why didn't somebody just shoot me in the head? Jack will do it. Oh. Hey. Well, everybody just shut up. I'm sorry. That's painful to watch, man. Come with me. Mom, I'll show you the window where your father and Mom, I used to stand Mom. and blow out the stars. It's kind of extra painful because it's Robin Williams being so harsh towards them. I gotta take this call. No, you don't. Fix this. No, you gotta fix your family first. Right on, right on. Good for you, Peter, Maria. Mom. We have a few special years with our children when they're the ones that want us around. Mm -hmm. And you are missing it. I hope you're hearing her. Jack, get away from there. What have I told you about playing your open windows? Keep this window closed. Jack, you're in charge now. This is my very special watch. So you can keep track of the time. Kind of an odd time to impart such a special gift. On the other hand, kids gotta have a watch or a clock. Granny Wendy brought me in from the cold. She even found people to be my parents and adopt me. That's special. Many of you here tonight were once lost children. And I know that if you could stand now, you would express much better than I have your feelings of gratitude. That felt really organic. Special. <laughs> Obviously it was planned and scripted, but I, it feels like it just happened. <laughs> Yeah, that image of that hook going up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Wow, all the windows, all everywhere, are all opening. Wow. I don't suppose there's any actual reason for all the windows everywhere here and where the parents are at to be opening, but it's legitimately scaring. It, it, it creates a, a mood. The children. Yes, run up the stairs. Wow. Ooh, whoa. Dear Peter. Jess Hook. Wow. I have to fly. Ooh. I have to fight. I have to crow. I have to save Maggie. I have to save Jack. Okay, he's back. Oh. Yeah, this guy. Oh my gosh. He went from like being crazy to being making the most sense. I've forgotten how to fly. Oh. How many of the orphans were former lost boys? How far back can you remember, Peter? You arranged for the adoption by my American parents. You were 12, nearly 13. I mean, before that. Nothing. There's nothing before that. It's so strange that he doesn't even have like a foggy memory. Maybe it's a part of the magic of Neverland. I don't know. No other girl held your favor the way I did. Grandma? Yes, I, I was an old lady when I wrapped you in blankets. My 13-year-old granddaughter asleep in the bed. Moira, that was when you decided not to go back to Neverland. Hmm. Where? <laughs> Come on, man. You know what she's saying to you. The stories are true. She is so good. I wow. swear to you. I swear on everything I adore. The fight isn't over for Captain James Hook. He, he wants you back. He knows you'll follow Maggie and Jack to the ends of the earth. Don't you know who you are? I mean, you're standing that way right now, my man. <laughs> wow. Firefly from hell. <laughs> Not exactly. That's amazing. Well, it is you. It is a big you. I guess it's not bad that you're big. You're the youthful big. energy. Whoa. Yeah, maybe this means you'll be twice as so much. The footprints 
I don't think so. Where are we going? Save your children, of course. How do you know about my kids? Everybody knows. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look, stars. That's right, Peter. Second star to the right, straight out until the morning. <laughs> I used to play that on the piano. Of course, now I'm just thinking that... Yeah, it sounds a lot like the love theme. Uh, obviously, John Williams, but it sounds a lot like Anakin and Padme. Wow. Is this just one big, extensive set? Tilt your head and glare with your good eye. Wow. Ew. Wow. Okay. Pyrotechnics. Good morning, Neverland! Bad Barracuda! A man so deep, he's almost unfathomable. Does he get this kind of amazing introduction every single day? Or just on special occasions when he's kidnapped Peter Pan's children? James! Oh! Go wow. get him, Taxi! Yes. Well, my stupid, sorry, parasitic sacks of entrails. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they love it. They love it. That's, that's, that's who they are. We have his children. Jack Maggie. And who didn't believe I could do it? Who doubted me? You. Oh, you so close. The boo box. The boo box. I have a vague memory of him being put in a box. Is there like crabs or something inside of it? Oh, they are those scorpions. Oh, that's a not fun. Not fun. Oh. Wow, right into it. Oh my goodness. My great and worthy opponent? Yes. No, Smee! Oh, who yeah. is this imposter? Not exactly hey, great and worthy opponent at the moment. Uh, yeah. No, excuse me. You're trying to do me how much help, huh? I'm really trying hard to rectify Bob Hoskins and Justin Hoffman here, because I can see that it's them now, but as a kid, they just were cooking Smee. Smee, and it's like, it's messing with my mind. Their performances are 10 out of 10. Ooh. What it can't be. Not this pitiful, spineless, pasty, bloated codfish I see before me. He would agree with you. Truly. I want my children. I want my war! Pick up your weapon. All right. How much? I'll write you a check. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fly up there and touch the outstretched fingers of your frightened children, and I'll set them free. I can't fly. Oh. You must be joking. No way. <laughs> Peter Pan has a real problem with height. It is hilarious. A credit to Robin Williams acting here, because I have no trouble believing this man is afraid of heights, this man cannot fly, and I know later on in the movie I will have no trouble believing that he can fly. But look at him, trying to conquer his fears to save his children, the only way he can fathom to do so. Just reach out and touch them. Reach. Come on, Daddy. Mommy could do it. I don't know that she could. He's forgotten everything. Please don't give up. These kids. I'm afraid I have decided to cancel the war. Kill him. Tinkerbell's gonna intervene, right? That's my memory, I think. Come on, yes. Ooh. What about the name Hook? One week and I'll get him in shape. It's a trick, Captain. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you will shoot him in the face. You promised people <laughs> the war of the century. Two days. Three, final offer. Done. I was thinking more like a month. <laughs> oh no! Unless Pan dies before even starting his training. Oh, mermaids. <laughs> oh. Breathe. Second one. It really looks like y'all are just kissing. But I know you're giving him oxygen. He would have enjoyed that more 
if his kids weren't kidnapped and he wasn't a stranger in a strange land. Help. <laughs> Dude can't catch a break. Oh, yeah. Can we get him down without breaking his body? Oh. Who's the shrub? Ooh, wow. That ain't Peter Pan. He's old. He's fat. Not so fat to me. <laughs> Perspective is everything. Ruby! Ruby! Oh! Definitely said that a lot as a kid. There's also another line that I would quote okay, all the time, but I'm gonna save it for later. Show's over now. You put that thing away. If you know what it is, comment it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's allergic to him. The flower is allergic to the man. He is. You're dead. Scary. Hook has got his kids, and I've got three days, three days to get him ready to fight. And I need everybody's help. Peter Pan's got his kids. Any of you said this here skug ain't Peter Pan. Cross the line. Uh, <laughs> not an option, Pete. Be right back. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to look a little closer. I got pen sword on the pen now. Think this guy's gonna take it from me? Maybe he is. Faith wavering, but this child unwavering. Faith of a child, baby. Book is gonna kill them unless we do something. Yeah. Yeah, come on, give him a chance. Hope just had an apostrophe. <laughs> I think you mean an epiphany. <laughs> Lightning. Has just struck my brain. Tell me more. Well, that must hurt. Pan's kids. We could make the little buggers love you. Pan's kids in love with Hook. What are you getting on about? <laughs> it's the ultimate payback. What is? Ew! Hold up. Did he earwax on the? I don't know if that's genius or disgusting. I'm clearly leaning towards disgusting. Come on, Peter. Think happy thoughts. All you need is one happy thought, Peter. Just one. Ha Expect a patron. No, wait. Not being in this slingshot. That's something else. Be very happy. <laughs> Mommy reads to us every night because she loves us. I think your mother reads to you every night in order to stupefy you to sleep. He's really good at warping reality. They tell you stories. To shut you up. You're a liar! Oh, Lie. She's good. Ah. <laughs> your father went to your sister's school play, did he not? What did he go to your baseball? How long game? were they watching before before they got these kids? Think of a way to run home, Jack! Run home! You are home. Oh. I don't like that it seems to be working on little Jack, but he is. A little older than Maggie, he's got a lot more conflict inside of him, so I guess it makes sense. Everybody say grace. Bless this, O oh Lord. <laughs> grace! <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing when I was a kid. Ew. There's nothing here. Gandhi ate more than this. <laughs> Don't you remember this used to be your favorite game? Eat your heart out, you prinkled, wrinkled, fat cat. A week old maggot burger with everything on it wow. and flies on the side. Wow. <laughs> the insults in this movie are next level. Dang. You loot crude, rude, bag of pre-chewed food, dude. Whoa. Right, we got one. We got one. Why don't you just go suck on a dead dog's nose? Oh, Rufio's got a big chip on his shoulder. And the man. Catch this. Peter, look out! <laughs> That's some training. Woo! See, instinct, man. It's about discovering, not training. Angry. I remember two of those. These are his marbles. These are his happy thoughts. His marbles? And they're his happy thoughts? That's kind of lovely. What's your happy thought, Ted? My mother. Do you remember your mother, Peter? Shh, listen. 
I wonder what his happy thought was back when he was the pan. Mom sang that song. Hey, I'm Jack. Tell me about the game of baseball. I can't remember. Distract him. Distract him. So I know I'm not alone. <laughs> I love how moved these pirates all are. I think maybe they're all thinking about their mothers tonight. <laughs> I love that his mustache is just like that. It's just the funniest thing. It's Betty. It's that crocodile back from the dead. Oh, careful. We that croc years ago, Captain. We smash every clock we find. Go on. You know you want to. We're always making promises. We're breaking them. You're never doing anything with me. Great For acting, kid. For a father kid. who's never there, Jack. For a father who didn't save you on the ship. He didn't even try. He was there. We were there and he wouldn't try. When the time comes, do you want to be saved? Have I ever made a promise, Jack? I have not. Kept Almost certainly you have. Not to him. Have I, son? Ugh, skin crawling. I don't like this game. Steel hook, suck. As fast as you can. Glove man. Ugh. She enjoyed that a little too much. I mean, just move, move a little faster. Oh, he's gonna stop and watch his son. This is for all the games your daddy missed. Run home, Jack! Run home, Jack! Run home, Jack! As his Run sister's home, words echo in his mind. Tell them to turn it around! Maggie? Hold on, Jack! <laughs> I love that he's there. He can't help but cheer on his son. Because he does love his kid, man. I know he does. Woo! It was burning. Hi, Jack! Hi, Jack. Yeah. He's desperate now. I can't! Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, that sound effect. <laughs> oh, cool. The shadow, nice. <laughs> what happened here? Hook. Hook. Burnt it when you didn't come back. Kiss. Wendy, I remember. Mother used to put him in the pram to keep me company. Oh, a real memory from childhood. I remember my mother. I remember her. First he will attend Whitehall, then Oxford. And of course, after graduation, he will prepare for a They had your whole life mapped out for you. I was afraid because I didn't want to grow up, because everybody who grows up has to die someday. Wow. So I ran away. As a baby? You came and you saved me. You brought me to Neverland. They'd forgotten about me. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about what these parents went through. If they lost their son, like good for them for being able to have another child. Oh! Why are you crying? I came back many times for Wendy. Peter! And Wendy kept getting older. And then I came back. The last time. I'm old, Peter. That's my grandchild. Something changed in me forever. I shall give her a kiss. I couldn't bear Moira's heart to be broken when she finds she can't keep you. Because that was her experience, right? A real kiss. But he stayed. Which is kind of beautiful. Although maybe wake her up and let her get to know you first. That's a separate issue. Uh, <laughs> Tink knows what it means. I mean, saying goodbye. Daddy. Hi, Jack. I know why I came back. I know why I grew up. I wanted to be a father. I love that. Yay. My happy thought. Wow, look at him go. Instant wardrobe change. <laughs> you can feel the whole I don't know, temperature, atmosphere of the movie just transformed. Wow. Just the unbridled joy. 
of Peter freaking Pan! Confrontation. Oh, surrender. Oh. I suddenly feel so much for Rufio. <laughs> yep. So often as a kid, I would do that. Yay! I was worried Rufio was gonna be on the outs. Okay, so this next scene, I don't know that I fully understood it. I remember just kind of like, this was weird, thinking it was weird. Why are you in Neverland? Well, that's easy. To always be a little boy and have fun. <laughs> oh, dear me. I did it. Tinker, she did it. What? You're humongous. <laughs> this is the only wish I ever wished for myself. Oh. This is the biggest feeling I've ever had, and this is the first time I've been big enough to have it. I want to give you a kiss. I love you, Peter Pan. Mora. <laughs> yeah. I love Mora. She was in love with him. Like, really in love with him. That makes sense. When it's all over, you'll leave and never come back again. Probably true. One last adventure. The deep brass is powerful here, yeah. Do you know, Jack, it's a very special time when a pirate receives his first airing. <laughs> he really is like a mini hook right now. What is that? I think you know. Look at Who's him. That? Look at him. Time does fly. <laughs> Excellent use of the word fly. And so do you. I see. Give me your hand. We're going home. I am home. <laughs> he is my son. He loves me dearly. And Prepare to meet thy doom. <laughs> Dark and sinister man. Have at thee. Ah! <laughs> This is just such a great childhood adventure story. There's a touch of uh, adult themes woven in throughout. Of fatherhood, holding on to your sense of childlike wonder. Don't I know him, Captain? No, oh. son, you've never seen him before in your life. Yeah. Uh, you know what my happy thought was? It was you. Uh, oh, no. It's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Summon the troops! You wanted a war hook? Here it comes. <laughs> the no hook flag is fantastic. Get ready to show them the white light we're made up, boys! <laughs> Remember the fires from hell that forged you! What a difference of inspirational speeches. White light! Fires of hell! Who show you who's chicken? Watch this! Yes. <laughs> Oh. oh! Impressive. <laughs> Jack liked it. Yeah, it's not you, boy. Unless you grow up to be Jack Sparrow. No, no, no. Rufio. Here we go. Yeah, bait and hook. We're coming up on that line that probably was the most quoted line for me from this movie. Ain't you Peter Pan? Ah, I ain't fighting Peter Pan. I'm out of here. Daddy? <laughs> Peter Pan's my dad. You know it. <laughs> Yay. Never lose you again. Go save Jack. Looky, looky, I got hooked. There it is! Ah! Oh, he got stabbed right after that. I wish I had a dad. Like you. Wow. What a moment. Dad? I want to go home. What are you talking about? You are home. Peter. Where are you going? Perhaps he's finally prioritizing his children over the other pressing matters in his life. I think he still has one final fight with Hook, though. Maybe you not. You need a mother very, very badly. I swear to you, wherever you go, wherever, there will always be daggers bearing no time, James Hook. Oh. 
prepared to die, Pete Doc. To die would be a great adventure. Death is the only adventure you have left. Oh, that's not entirely true. I remember you being a lot bigger. <laughs> to a ten-year-old, I'm huge. Valid. Well, you're not really Peter Pan, don't you? Why this not? It's only a dream. I believe in you. Don't let him I get in your head. In Peter. I believe in you. You were Peter Pan. <laughs> Good form. Although there was a small part of me thinking, take his other hand! Bad form! Yeah, no. thanks, Jack. Oh, that's right. Your greatest weakness, Hook Locks. The ever present reminder of the croc. Whoa. That's what that man looks like with no wig. Whoa! Give me my dignity. You took my hand. You owe me something. You kidnapped his kids, bro. What does he owe you? He's just a mean old man without a mommy. See, Maggie sees him for what he is. Let's go. After all, what would the world be like without Captain Oakum? Eh, maybe just a little bit better. Never want to see your face in Neverland again. Fool James Hook is Neverland! <laughs> oh. Is that thing supposed to be alive? Wait, what? I remember it falling on him. Oh. And thus perished Captain James Hook. All you have to do is think one happy thought and fly like me. Mommy! <laughs> My dad. Tink, you know the way. I'll be just behind you. So who do I leave in charge? It's only one option. Well, there's only one person he had a genuine and strong heart to heart with in this movie anyhow. Yeah, that's right. I want you to take care of everyone who's smaller than you. Okay. And who do I look after? Never books. <laughs> Thank you for believing. Great transition back into the real world. She looks like an angel. Oh. Let's not wake her yet. I think when I was a kid, I was so on board for this like little sneaky part, but now I'm just like, wake her up. Let her know you're home. Dear child, have you been up all night? I see them in their beds so often in my dreams. When I wake up, they're still there. Meanwhile, out in the cold, and I'm pretty sure back in his original outfit, just to make himself, perhaps us as well, wonder if it was all a dream. Tink, tink. You know that place between sleep and awake? That's where I'll always love you. Peter Pan. What did I tell you about this window? Always keep it open! Okay, Ooh. okay, oh yeah. Obviously, he's not gonna immediately revert back to a curmudgeon. Break it. Fred, have you wondered what it's like to feel the total exhilaration of really flying? Feel this. Fly me, Daddy, fly me! Daddy. Just not off the window like the phone. I think these belong to you. Your happy thoughts? Boy, why are you crying? A tear for every happy thought. One for me? One for me? One for me? And one for me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, those marbles were laced with fairy dust. How nice. <laughs> Time to go home. Carpe diem. Your adventures are over. Oh no. To live. To live will be an awfully big adventure. What? Turned it around. I just love this movie so much. It holds up. It holds up. We just watched Hook. What did you think? Ah, please let me know your thoughts on this movie in the comments here. Let's talk about it. I obviously really, really love it. And it's so great watching it now after 
I mean, I haven't seen it in years and years and years. I couldn't tell you when the last time I saw it was. And it's just really nice to be back in this world of Neverland. And it's, I feel with a lot of Steven Spielberg movies like this, I, I really, I guess I'm, I'm mostly just thinking of this in E.T. And Goonies might fall into this category. They just, I feel like they felt nostalgic at the moment they were released. And maybe that's because for me, this is childhood. This is nostalgia at, a, at its greatest heights. But there's so many scenes in this movie, even early on, they just, the way the music hits and the way it, it just, it's like, the, it just creates that childlike wonder so precisely. And I you feel it in like, every ounce of this movie. And, and this is a childlike adventure and it makes me feel like a child again. And I just love it. Clearly the prevailing theme is fatherhood and he was truly a bad dad. I don't think there's any way around it. He... Well, I mean, it's the classic story of putting work before your family. And he had to go through quite the adventure to realize he has to put his family first. And and living for the job is not truly living. So I really like that pivot at the end to live would be an awfully big adventure. And it's a great perspective when you choose to actually live your life versus going through the routine. And it's so easy to get caught up in the day to day, the, you know, well, I have to, I have to do this and I have to do this and I have to do this. And we just, we just live our life day to day and we can fall into the routine. We can check out, we can stop thinking about it. We can stop living intentionally. And sometimes we need a moment like Peter had in this movie to wake us up and realize, hey, life is happening right now. Like, wake up, shake yourself awake. And it's like, hey, I've got to live. And living is outside of the routine. We don't live to work we work to live so that we can have adventures in our life and that doesn't mean you have to go to neverland it doesn't mean you have to do there is no one right way to wake up and live your life but live live it and value it and treasure the people in your life that, that's just this movie is so good it just all of those ideas are just clanging around in my brain right now i loved the cast especially dustin hoffman and smee i enjoyed the performance as a kid but actually knowing those actors and, and knowing them from other roles as well just amplifies how incredible of a job they did in this all of the lost boys uh i my favorite moments are the moments when those lost boys just have this whoa, sense of wonder uh, i i just it's just an incredible feeling and them their performances and them feeling it makes me feel it and it gets me very excited the plot line of young jack kind of you know giving in to the manipulation tactics that hook is using and wanting to stay in, in neverland i uh, i think that's an interesting plot point i don't know if if, if for me uh, you know, that would be the one part that feels maybe slightly forced but they only had three days i just i'm not convinced within three days call maybe you know just call it the magic of neverland right and amplifying the bad feelings he's already feeling or, or whatever but you know I, I that's the only part that feels a little bit forced but uh, i don't mind because i just love the movie so much who really cares it it was it's a good plot line a good storyline and adds some extra tension there in the end in the final battle is peter pan's not only having to fight hook but he's literally having to fight for the affection of his son and to show his son, like, hey, you know what? I wasn't there for you, and I'm going to change. And I'm, I'm going to be a father whose word is actually my bond. That, that's the one thing. I, I got so mad when he's on the airplane, and he looks at his son and says, I'll be at six games next year. My word is my bond. You cannot tell a kid or anyone that your word is your bond when you said that yesterday and then broke your word. Hello? Like, what are you doing? What are you thinking? You've proven. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, we're cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. But he woke up and he genuinely had a change of heart and a change of ways. And I, I hope that that mindset continues for him and that from this point on, he is the best father and that he doesn't lose his job for just throwing Brad out the window. I entertaining and a great way to incorporate the fly thing one more time in the movie but not the right way to handle that <laughs> but so much of this movie is just so entertaining and i love it and hopefully you enjoyed watching it with me today 
If you did enjoy this reaction, by all means, please hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to be watching some movies coming up uh, as well as some various TV shows. And I'd love to continue hanging out with you and spending time with you. So subscribe if you want that too. And yeah, a special thanks to my patrons. Here's another video uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy. And hey, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.